Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. First up is our snack food favorite for the week. We don't have them here because we finished them. We went to Target to get a new bag and they didn't have them because I think people are catching on. But they're the Heavenly Hunks birthday cake flavor. And if you've ever had Heavenly Hunks, we used to buy them from Costco and they would have like a big bag there of the chocolate chip and it's basically like an oatmeal based I guess cookie would you say yeah like a cookie snack yeah they're like vegan gluten free so they're healthier but they are so good and the chocolate chip we loved but they came out with a birthday cake flavor that has like sprinkles in it and it's like basically tastes like very vanilla mm -hmm. heavy and they are so good like a really good after dinner treat if you want something that's a little bit healthier aside from like you know instead of like cookies or cake or whatnot and they're delicious you can get them at target we'll link them below so look for them at your target but ours was out like i said but i'll insert a picture so you guys they're know really they good like. okay um a deodorant favorite so after seeing so many people talk about this we both picked it up it's the salt air refillable deodorant and we got the santal bloom mm -hmm. scent um, so you can like take the wrap label off when you get it. So I like that because it's too. like a chic little mm -hmm. looking. And yeah, it's refillable so you can buy the insert that goes inside. It looks kind of gross. Um, but so far I really like this. I can't decide. Oh, I accidentally twisted it. I will say the cap. fragrance isn't very strong. Like I can barely Yeah, but smell. I like that. Yeah. I thought it was going to be really strong because um, we haven't really tried their other products until yeah. there. So I didn't know how strong it was going to be, but it's not. It's pretty mild. And it just, yeah, it smells good. Yeah. Um, and it is it is chic. Um, it's a natural deodorant, so it's, it's not an antiperspirant. Yeah, so it doesn't prevent you from sweating, but I do think it helps with smelling. Yeah, and um, I think that, so we've been using a Necessaire gel, and I think they probably work about the same. They're just different. They're yeah, just different ways. Like, they're different. That one's a gel, so usually if I'm wearing, like, a tank top, I'll opt for that because it's like very like cooling and like it won't be getting on my shirts anyway. Yeah. And then if I'm wearing like a t-shirt, I'll opt for this. Same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it kind of just depends like, yeah, like what form you like. But yeah. this one is significantly cheaper than that yeah. one. And if you just keep buying the refills, I think the refills are even like, yeah, they're even cheap. cheap and I still expensive. love each and every, but that was just getting expensive. So you expensive. Go through it so Because quick. the necessary, I think, is even, yeah, cheaper than each and every by a little bit. But that lasted me a really long yeah. time. So it just lasts longer. Each and every, I was going through one like every month. Yeah, but I did repurchase the necessary recently and i've just been kind of switching out the same i repurchased necessary recently too they're both really good deodorants yeah but we wanted to share this one because we yeah. think it's good okay and then i also pick up picked up these kitsch hair ties recently i saw emily schumann of cupcakes and cashmere talk about them on her instagram and the thing that drew me in was like these pretty blush shades i was like oh those are really pretty and she said they're the best hair ties and they're biodegradable i believe which is mm. crazy so they're like also eco um and they were only eight dollars for a pack of the, the pack came in with so many i gave some half to carly um and so i'm like why not just try them like i've been using invisibobbles and like when we do our workouts i'll use invisibobbles but i don't really have like a hair tie if i like don't want to use an invisibobble for aesthetic purposes i don't have hair ties so i'm like i should just have them on hand anyway and I really love these. Usually, like, standard elastics will always give me a headache, which is why I switched to Invisibobbles, because they don't. But these don't pull your hair at all, and they do hold enough. Like, they're not, like, a strong hold, I would say, but they hold enough. They don't leave any kinks in your hair. They don't pull, like, your hair so you get a headache. They're just very gentle, I would mm -hmm. say, and I love the way they look. Like, they are, like, very chic. Yeah, they're really cute. I really want a shade that's, like, my brown to match my hair. Yeah, I'm hoping that they come out with, like, some nude but they right now they only have these and then black but I, I feel like this color looks nice yeah, yeah I agree they're really nice okay our tv show favorite is only murders in the building season two we missed last week filming five weekly favorites so we're a little bit late yeah but we love this show you guys know and we were so happy it's back and um, we actually got to see Steve Martin and Martin Short do like a little comedy show on the 4th of July at the Hollywood Bowl it was so good they played so a ton good. of clips of them um from like what their time on SNL. Yeah. And I really loved it because we, we, I feel like we missed that era. We, we I, did. I'm, yeah, like it was before, it was before we were born. For sure. Yeah. Um, but we've obviously seen like their sketches, but it was nice to see the compilation. It was so funny. They're so funny. They're so um, funny. So that was kind of like another weekly highlight. Um, but we love this show and season two so far has been almost just as good as season one, yes. which is so hard to do, but 
I feel like the writing is just as funny. It's so funny. Um, I think their characters, because they're so much, like, closer now. Mm -hmm. Like, I love their dynamic even more, the three of them. Um, the setting is just as good. It's still at the Arconia. I, I love the show. Nothing so, brings me more of, like, a smile to my I face. know. Like, last night we were so excited to finally watch it because we usually don't have time on Tuesday nights to sit down and watch it. So we save it for Fridays. And then we started a new show as well. So it's just, like, a Friday night. I get why TGAF existed. Like, that was, like, the time when, like, people had time to sit down and watch sitcoms on TV. And, like, can we bring it back? Yes. Can something happen? Um, Kirby Johnson, that's her last name, right? Yeah. Uh, on Instagram, we follow her. We follow her for years. We love her. And she was talking about, I love this theory, and I hope it's true, that, like, us older millennials, like, crave, like, that block television schedule, which was, like, TJIF. Yes. Where, like, they had, my eyes are so watering, the allergies are bad today, where they had, like, four shows lined up yeah. on, like, Friday nights. Or, like, they even did it, like, Saturday mornings for, like, kids, essentially. Yeah. Like, block television. And TJ, we lived for TJ. Yes. Like, lived for it. Like, Spring of the Teenage Witch, Two of a Kind, um, Boy Meets World used to be on it. What else was even in there? The one with um, Kat Dunning's... Raising Dad. Yeah, Raising, Raising Dad. Raising Dad. Like, the, the rotation was supreme. Yeah. Like, everything was perfect. Um, and I do crave that style of watching TV now that we, like, are... Like, you kind of get sick of, like, binge-watching shows. I on oh, wait, well, well, you guys know, I feel like we're the last people that love network mm -hmm. television. Everybody we know is like, I only watch Netflix, or I only watch shows yeah. on Hulu. And it's like, I will watch anything on ABC. <laughs> I know. So she was saying that she feels like streaming services are going to bring this concept back somehow. And I would love that. Yes. And... It's essentially what we're trying to create in our lives on Friday nights. Yeah. It's like our own TJF watching every Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So murders we like kind of save for Fridays, but season two is so good so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then last up is a home purchase. So last week Target, it might still be going, well not when this video goes up, but I think it is still going on right now. They were doing 25% off all of their home items, which is crazy. Like, I feel like even during the holidays, things don't go that low as far as, like, the home decor goes. And I have, so I really, I think I've talked about this, but I, my boyfriend and I, like, cannot find a good light bulb that's, like, a very neutral tone, not too cool, not too warm, for, like, our overhead ceiling light. So we really just rely on, like, our two um, side table lamps for lighting in our room, but it just gets like very dark sometimes. And I'm like, I just feel like I need like a little bit more light in there. And there's this really cute fluted mini ceramic lamp on Target that was on sale for $12. So I'm like, whatever, $12, it's so cheap. And let me just tell you how perfect this lamp is. First of all, the light bulb is perfect. I don't know, I guess I need to look at what kind it is because it's the perfect mix. It's like not too warm, too cool. I feel like if anything, it leans more like white light. So I guess cooler. But it's not yellow at all, which is like my real pet peeve when it comes to lighting. And it is just like this really beautiful, I'll insert a photo and link it below, but this little cute like ceramic white lamp and the, the shade is very chic. It just looks really chic, looks way more high end than a $12 lamp. And it just did what I wanted to, it added like additional light. It was so easy. I just put it on, um, we talked about these before too, but those like automatic we have the remote and then you can switch it on and off from the remote so there's three different outlets on the remote so one for each lamp it's perfect can't recommend it enough even if you don't get it on sale it's still like 17 dollars normal price so just just get it find a place near home for it okay that is everything this week we're sorry we didn't have a video last week but we are back and we'll see you guys next week